Hello friends, welcome to YouTube channel Electronics for You. In this video, let us compare star connection and delta connection for a three phase system. So, a star connection is one in which similar ends are joined together. We can say that either starting end or ending ends are joined together uh, so that uh, they form a point known as star point or delta point star point or a neutral point so this is a star connection and uh, whereas in case of delta connection two dissimilar ends are joined together means if r1 is connected with b2 and r2 is connected with y1 in such a way that they form a closed loop it is called as delta connection the diagrams are shown here now in case of a star connection as they are joined to a common point they form a point known as neutral point or a star point whereas in case of a delta connection there is no neutral point in the connection there are two types of star connection one is three wire wire connection and another one is four wire connection so in case of a star connection this is here you can see that this is a three wire connection if one more wire is added there that is of neutral then they, there will be next type of connection that is four wire three phase connection so this is a star connection where you, we can have three wires or four wires for the conduction whereas in case of a delta connection only three conductors are used and therefore it is only uh, having three phases in the connection next point is in case of star connection line current is always equals to phase current whereas in connection in case of a delta connection line current is equal to under root three times phase current it is written in equations like this now let us talk about the voltages in star connection. So, in case of voltages, line voltage is root 3 times the phase voltage in case of star connection and in case of delta connection, line voltage equal to phase voltage. So, in case of uh, star connection, line current and phase currents are equal whereas in case of delta connection, line voltage and phase voltages are equal. Now, uh, next point is about the power so power supplied by star connection is given by p equals to under root 3 times vl il cos phi okay this is power expressed in line quantities whereas if you want to express this in uh, phase, quanti phase quantities then p is equals to 3 times vph iph cos phi this is the formula for star connection same connection uh, same formula will be applicable for the delta connection so power in star connection as well as in delta connection will remain same the next point is about the speed of a uh, induction motor so in case of a star connection the speed of motor will be more uh, speed of a motor will be less because they will uh, receive less voltage because here here the phase voltage is actually less than the line voltage whereas in case of delta connection phase voltage and line voltages are equal and therefore it will get high voltage and hence the speed of a motor in delta connection will be more next point is in star connection the phase voltage is low and therefore it needs less number of turns because it has it ha has to bear less voltage and uh, therefore therefore in case of a star connection the number of turns will be less uh, whereas in case of delta connection as line voltage and phase voltages are equal it will require more turns the next point is low insulation as less voltage is required 
here the low insulation will be there in case of star connection and more insulation will be required for the delta connection next point is also related with the similar things in case of star connection actually star connection is preferred for the long distance whereas delta connection is preferred for the shorter distance transmission because in case of a star connection as voltages are low so low insulation is required and in case of delta connection more insulation will be required as it has to handle the high voltage now next point is star connection is commonly used for appliances which needs less amount of starting current so if you require less starting current star connection is preferred whereas in case of we need high starting torque so uh, high current is required and therefore delta connection is generally required whenever there is requirement of the high currents single phase three phase supply is possible in case of a star connection in case of star connection we can have single phase from a wire, phase wire and a neutral also three phase supply is possible in case of star connection whereas in case of a delta connection only single phase voltage is possible because there is no neutral wire in case of a delta connection next point is the star connection is preferably used in the domestic and residential application whereas delta connection is generally used in industrial as well as in commercial application so these are the differences between star connection and delta connection friends previously i have made videos on star connection and delta connection you can see the link in the description to watch complete analysis for the star connection and delta connection thank you